Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Retro Gaming Rewind. So today I want to talk about SCART and how we can get amazing picture quality out of some of our old consoles using SCART um, and, use, and hooking them up to our HDTVs in a pretty cost-effective manner. Um, so what I have here is I have a, a SCART to HDMI converter that I got on Amazon. It's about 50 or 60 bucks. Um, pretty inexpensive, but it works pretty well. There are some really expensive uh, HDMI converters that are out there on the market that are probably you know better than this one. But this one, uh, you know, it's cost effective. It does a very good job. And I'm going to show some uh, footage comparing uh, the footage that I got from this on SCART versus composite and some S-video samples. So we'll get to that in a minute. But first, what I want to do is answer what the heck is SCART? Because a lot of people in the States are probably watching this and have no idea what SCART is. So in, in the States, what we had is we had um, RCA composite, which was the, you know, the yellow, white, and red. Everybody's familiar with that. If you had like a VCR, if you had a video game system, that's pretty much what you were using to hook up uh, most of the time. So what SCART was is that that was sort of a, it, it was an equivalent of that, except it was, uh, it tapped directly into the RGB signal. So if you can just imagine that RGB is this sort of highway that's this wide, and then when you're using a composite image, you have to fit that highway into, you have to fit all those cars into here. So you're going to lose some cars, and you're going to lose some detail, you're going to lose some picture quality there. But without further ado, let's just check out some results, and you guys can, uh, you know, see and hear for yourselves. All right, so I thought I'd start us off here with a game that I just recently reviewed, uh, Wonder Boy and Monster Land. Great game. I definitely recommend checking out the review if you haven't already. All right, so we're obviously starting off with the composite image here. Nothing wrong with it. But now you see here when you switch over to SCART, there's a big difference. You know, the blacks are definitely black. All the colors are much more represented uh, better. And then you switch back over to composite. You can see there's just this washed out quality to everything. And we switch back. And there you go. Everything's full and full of color again. It's really a big difference. Now here we move on to Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. Now pay close attention to the red text as it pops up. The 1984 that just happened. Here's Nintendo. And now we're going to switch over to SCART here in a second. You're going to see a big difference. Look at that. Everything is just clean. There's not that sort of blurry, patchy effect that you get with the composite image. This is a big improvement. It looks like it's running off of emulator. It doesn't look like it's running off of hardware. Now, obviously, Super Metroid is going to look good no matter what you hook it up with. But, uh, you know, you'll see here, this is the composite image. And there will be a, an improvement here when you switch over to SCART. You see there, colors are just brighter, darker when they need to be. There's much more contrast to the image overall. Now this improved image quality through SCART does come with a trade-off, and that's with the sound. Universally across the board, the stereo sound through the typical RCA cables with the composite sounded better than the stereo sound through SCART. It just had more punch and volume. Um, it just sounded fuller. I don't know why that is, but that's just what I noticed when I was making these videos. So here coming up, we'll just do a quick back and forth between the two audio sources. I didn't do any kind of tweaking so you can hear the difference. All right, so obviously a very big difference here. Um, so now what we are about to do, we are actually about to switch over to S-Video versus SCART. So what I did here is I hooked up my Sega Saturn in both SCART and S-Video because I wanted to compare the two. And to be quite honest with you, the difference is not as big as between composite and SCART. Um, you know, S-Video really kind of holds its own. Um, it does pretty good color uh, reproduction and the picture quality is pretty good. You know, there is, a little bit of uh, you know extra sharpness with the SCART videos you can probably notice. Um, however, I actually kind of it's almost like the the S video is like running on an emulator through a filter. Um, so in some ways, it's actually kind of I, I actually found it to be a little bit preferable. But then you know when you look at some of the finer details, you know you can't beat the SCART. So now as we move into Saturn's probably the biggest weakest point of the Saturn was 3D. Um, as you can see that, you know, the textures were very pixelated back then. 
Um, you know, 3D movement just wasn't that great back then. So, you know, it's really kind of difficult for the naked eye, at least for me, to see the difference between S-Video and SCART. You know, the difference really, it almost completely kind of disappears when you get into this, um, you know, these type of games on the Sega Saturn. I don't know if it's just because of the nature of the textures and the graphics or whatever, but, um, you know, for me, kind of switching back and forth, it's kind of easy to tell just because of the way I edited the two together, but, um, you know, to the naked eye, somebody who wasn't watching a video like this, I don't think they would be able to tell the difference between the two. So if the question is, do I get a SCART cable for this Saturn? Um, it's a tough one. If you already have an S-Video cable, I would just say no, don't bother. But if you don't have an S-Video cable and you're just looking to upgrade from composite, I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, you know, the difference between the two is... It's pretty minimal, but if you're already rocking S video, like you're, I think you're pretty straight with that. Like you don't need to waste the money. That's money that can be spent on another game or some beer or something like that. So, um, yeah, it, I don't know. It, I definitely recommend obviously SCART for pretty much every other system that you can get it for. However, um, the Saturn, I don't know. It seems to be pretty good with S video. So now I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let Quake do the talking. All right, so obviously you can see my opinion there. The difference between SCART and Composite was very big, and then the one between uh, SCART and S-Video wasn't very big. Now, that might just be a result of this converter that I got. Like I said, there's much more expensive converters out there. Maybe they're doing a much better job. However, I just wanted to come up with a cost-effective one because I just don't have, what is it, three or $400 to drop on a FrameMeister. Um, so that's just, you know, this is sort of an alternative to that. So that's what I chose. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Um, and I'm going to put a link below to, in the description as well to an article that really gets in depth with all this stuff. And that, you know, it does a full review of a whole bunch of different converters. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out that article because it's extremely helpful. And I actually didn't find that article until I was like halfway through making this video. So, um, that's why I kind of didn't really discuss the content as much. Um, but yeah, this converter was about 50, 60 bucks. It's pretty good. So if you're looking for a cost effective solution, uh, I recommend it. And again, I'll put the link that below in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon.